Hi, my name is Dr. Travis Menge, and I'm a sports medicine specialist in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today, I'm going to talk about the Arthrex Knotless Fiber Tack Anchor and the many advantages that it offers in hip arthroscopy. I'd like to start out with a case today of a patient with recurrent hip pain after a prior hip arthroscopy. It's a 36-year-old active female who presented to my clinic approximately a year and a half after she underwent a hip arthroscopy with labor repair using three anchors, correction of her FAI, and capsular closure. She did well initially following surgery. However, approximately nine to 12 months after this initial surgery, she developed gradual onset of what she described as new or different pain within her hip. We started a new trial of extensive conservative treatments, including oral anti-inflammatories, formal physical therapy, ultrasound guided steroid injection within the hip, ice, rest, and activity modification. You can see on the radiographs on the left, she had appropriate correction of her bony FAI. And on the right, you can see an MRI demonstrating one of her prior anchors. And what's interesting about this image is you can see what appear to be dense adhesions between the capsule and the labrum with essentially a complete loss of that normal space, which you'll typically see between those two structures. After failure of extensive conservative treatments, this patient had continued debilitating hip pain that affected both her activities of daily living as well as her ability to work at her desired level. She therefore elected to undergo revision arthroscopic hip surgery. And you can see in the photos, beginning on the picture on the left, we're in her left hip viewing from an anterolateral portal, looking anteriorly, you can see a wall of dense adhesions which had formed between the labrum and the capsule. This has resulted in eversion of the labrum and loss of the suction seal mechanism within the hip. As we carefully work using electrocautery to clear these adhesions and recreate the normal plane between the labrum and the capsule, you can see that immediately below the dense wall of scar tissue was a knot stack from one of her prior anchors. She had a prior repair with an anchor that used a knotted construct. And you can see that that suture knot stack and the knots that resulted were directly below the center of that dense scar tissue. As we continue to work, we remove that knot stack and continue to elevate that capsule and recreate the plane between the capsule and the labrum. As we continue to work posteriorly, we're now viewing from a mid-anterior portal, looking posteriorly, and you can see another one of the anchors had a suture which had loosened from her prior surgery. So we went in and removed this loose suture, which again, with a knot, was one of the problems with this particular construct. And it is for these reasons that I have switched in my practice to the knotless fiber tack anchors for all of my hip arthroscopy cases. To start, they offer a number of innovative features and in design, which you won't find in any other products currently on the market. They're an all suture anchor, they're knotless, and they have a very small footprint of only 1.8 millimeters. This allows you to place anchors very close to the acetabular rim, as well as offers greater points of fixation in your repair construct. Additionally, it offers excellent versatility with both straight or curved drill guides, which allows you to use the proper trajectory as well as the perfect anchor placement for every case. As you can see in these photos from the revision case discussed earlier, we're able to get our anchors immediately adjacent to that labrum on the very edge of the acetabular rim, and we get a repair, which in this case, a revision repair, which offers a repair with no knot stacks, perfect tension, and perfect anchor placement. You can see in these videos, starting with the video on the left, these anchors also offer excellent precision with control of the labrum and your repair construct. The video on the left shows the ability to invert the labrum during your repair versus the video on the right where we can evert the labrum during your repair. This adjustable tension allows you to precisely control your labrum with either eversion or inversion and get the repair perfect every time. Furthermore, you can tension these anchors with the traction up or down 
allowing you to get the perfect suction seal between that labrum and the femoral head. Altogether, this anchor offers reliable, reproducible, and high quality fixation. As discussed in the case earlier, it eliminates knot stacks and decreases the risk of those capsule labral adhesions. Additionally, it minimizes suture tension variability, which we all know can cause and result in knot loosening and variability from case to case between surgeons. Furthermore, there's greater access for anchor placement along the acetabular rim, given that small footprint, as well as the versatility with either the straight or the curved guides, and improved ability to recreate the anatomic labral seal and that suction seal mechanism within the hip as you're able to either evert or invert the labrum, as well as tension the sutures with either traction up or traction down. So looking at some of these photos, these are examples of both labor repair as well as labral reconstruction using the knotless hip fiber tack anchors. And you can see amongst all of these photos, a very reproducible, high quality repair or reconstruction with no knot stacks and excellent tension that is reproducible every single time. So in summary, going back to our case that we discussed earlier, that patient is now almost a year out from her revision arthroscopy and has done exceedingly well. She has no pain within her hip, is back to all of her sporting activities and back to work without any limitations or continued symptomatology. Thank you.